Hello everybody, welcome to my indie game Spotlight for Loadout. Now, Loadout is a third-person shooter that, in my opinion, has very high resemblance to TF2. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of got the cartoony graphics going on, similar to, similar to TF2. Um, you got a lot of the same mechanics as well, and the comedic vibe is right there, um, if not better than TF2. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing about 15-20 minutes of gameplay here, telling you what I think about it, and uh, showcasing some of the mechanics to you guys. Well, I go through it. So yes, this is the front screen. We got fight, which is the starting screen, and then we got weapon crafting. I want to show you this really quickly because this is a huge aspect of this game. As you can see, I made these two car uh, guns, poo poo canoe, and uh, Justin Bieber cleaver. I'm gonna make a really quick one here just to showcase you how. Well, not, it's not extremely in depth, but it's uh, a lot better than most FPS games or third-person shooter games, whatever you want to call them. So we're up here. You have. Um, the option to change the type of gun. You have a rifle, you have a launcher, which is like an RPG, and then you got a pulse, which is an energized chassis that shoots fast-moving pulses, reloads with clips, and then a beam gun, which is kind of like a ray gun, which is what I prefer using by far. A very fun gun to use, so I'm going to stay on that. I'm actually not going to make a gun here because it costs money, but um, I'm going to show you that the parts actually change the look of the weapon. It, you can change pretty much everything about it, and you level up each part. It's very cool, and we'll get more into that as we go through here. Um, you can change certain things here. You can have a bro scanner, which... Uh, oh, no, sorry. I, th <laughs> I thought it did say bro. It says bio. Medical Dinox tool that allows you to see the health of friendly and enemy players when using the scope. Um, probably very helpful to analyze who you should be shooting. Um, on the enemy team based on how much health they have. Uh, very cool. Then you got actually like Gatling guns, you got snipers, so you can have like a sniper railgun, which I don't know why you would want that, but I guess it boosts your stats, so that's always good too. Um, and you can just keep going here, there's so much stuff you can change, and as you can see I have, un I have things to unlock as well. Um, a cooling system, and you actually have like computer cooling. You have liquid cooling and you have a heat sink on your gun. That's the coolest um, weapon mechanic I've ever seen. Uh, it's just such a cool looking gun. Um, and you can change your bullets as well. Um, you can put health on your bullets, but you lose some damage, all that good stuff. And you can see all these blue things that are costing money to, uh, upgrade your guns. That's actually earned in-game. It's called Blutes, and you earn them a lot like, uh, World of Tanks throughout playing. You earn them and you upgrade your tank while you upgrade your guns in this game with Blutes. So in that aspect, this game is not buy to win. It is a free-to-play game. We'll go into the um, the real-world currency really quickly in a minute here. Um, then you have loadouts similar to games like Modern Warfare. You can start out with your loadout. As you can see, I got my two guns and my wonderful Helga character. Then my hand grenade. Not as in-depth as uh, most games, but again, it is a comedic third-person shooter. So I didn't expect it to have much depth anyways. And then you've got Outfitter, which um, is where the real-world currency comes in. And I'm going to warn... Younger uh, viewers, right now, there is some pixelated nudity, as well as a nutsack I'm going to be showcasing during the next 30 seconds. So if you don't want to see that, skip ahead a little bit, and then you can get straight to the gameplay. So we're going to go to Axel here, and I was just astonished with this, because I, I, I didn't look at the ESRB in this game. And um, obviously, it's probably close to um, like at, at least 13 years old. But you have a lot of things you can change with the real world currency. Actually, I'm going to open this up really quickly so you can analyze the prices. 600, uh, I guess they're called golden coins or whatever they're called, is 99 cents. Then you got save 24% for 16,000 is 20 bucks. So you can look at these prices and compare. Actually, it's not that expensive as compared to games like TF2. But TF2 is just ridiculous, and it's fucking hats, man, fucking hats. But you can see you can, you can change everything here. And you go a lot more into detail than uh, TF2 as well. I, I'm going to be comparing a lot to TF2. I don't know why, but um, I, I don't know. With, with, with games like this where you have a lot of character customization, obviously TF2 is pretty much the granddaddy of that, at least these days. Um, but what I really wanted to show here, and my jaw dropped when I saw this, is this. Yes, there is... Yes, and it... Yes, it wiggles and... Yeah, um, so yeah, sorry for, um, plaguing you with that site, but, um, hopefully we don't see anyone like this in-game. But it, 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 this is a little worse in my opinion, because it's like, yeah, um, sorry. Okay, well, let, let's just go on to the next character. Axel is the only one that's really, actually, Helga's pretty fucking grotesque as well. The, this guy, I don't know his name, is pretty normal. you got a lot of things you can change. I'm not going to spend too much time in here. Obviously, if you're interested in this, you'll download the game and check everything out yourself. Um, but they, they do have some great gear you can buy if you want to spend money in the game, support the game. 
Um, and Helga's pretty gross as well. Uh, you can change a few things, and yeah, she's got like really no no woman looking like this should ever. And she's got a snail trail, and obvious you can fucking put on. I'm not even gonna show you, but you can put on a bikini, and basically, yeah, you you understand what's gonna happen when she she puts on a bikini. Um, yes, let's stop here. I'm just feeling really awkward right now. We're gonna toss all that. I'm not gonna be buying anything. Um, especially with the things that I showcased you to you guys. So sorry about that. Uh, let's go back into the gameplay here. We're gonna go to Locker, and Locker really is just a statistics screen and a summary screen. As you can see, I'm level two, so there is a level up system. There's also a, a tech tree. Uh, we'll get more into that really quickly here in a minute. Um, and you can also see your statistics, kills, deaths, kill ratio, wins, losses, yada yada. Why is it not showing wins, losses? I do not know. I have like I'm, I think I'm three wins, zero losses. Um, but yes, I don't know. Um, headshots, you can see buckwheats. I don't even know what a buckwheat is. I'm sure it's probably like hitting in the nuts or something. Uh, all good. Let's go on. You can actually uh, buy an avatar as well with uh, real, real world currency. Um, again, that's a big bonus to me because as long as it's not a buy to win game, I don't really care. So that's all good. Tech Tree is really cool. I actually really enjoy this and it gives you a lot of progression. If you know World of Tanks, this is very similar. You um, you need to, first of all, upgrade the the... the, the the thing you are using, and then you can buy the, it in a tech tree to go on to the next sp spot. Um, it's very cool and actually takes a very long time. As you can see, I'm using this barrel and I got 368 XP out of 30,000, and that's in something like three games. Uh, but I think I only used that weapon once. You have to use the weapon that has this part on it to uh, get the XP, as you can see if I go down here. Um, actually, I don't even know. I, I don't know much about the tech tree yet because I just haven't had time. There we go. Okay, so if we go to beam here, this is the one I've been using. So you can see my slug is uh, slowly upgrading. That's in about three games. So it, it is going to take a while. And as you can see, you can upgrade things. You can keep upgrading and go up the tech tree and get on no, new unlocks. Very cool system and has a, a great amount of uh, replayability. Now go to the store. Store is nothing too serious here. The typical free-to-play model, you get XP boost. Um, that's really the only buy to win aspect I would consider. If you don't like uh, people buying into XP boost, avoid this game. Um, me, I don't really mind. If you want to get XP, that's all good. If you want to get extra loot, go ahead. I don't really care. Um, you can also buy uh, extra loadouts. You can buy extra gun slots. And you can buy the avatars as we've seen before. So that's really all you can buy with, with real world currency. You can't buy the weapons. You can't buy the uh, things to add to weapons. That's all you can buy. So. I spent way too much time on the front screen, but there was a lot to showcase. Let's get into the gameplay. We are going to go to casual here, and we are going to go to verse humans and find a match. And it shouldn't take very long at all, because this game is very populated right now. Alright, it took a total of four seconds to find this, and we are in a four versus four. This is really the only... Um, amounts I've seen. I don't think they've implemented any more than that yet, or less. I guess if you join a game with less people, obviously there's less. But it seems like 4 versus 4 is the max right now, and you have this t typical voting system of most um, shooter games. Um, you vote for a map, or you can vote for random, and then um, it ends, voting ends in 40 seconds, and then we can get into the gameplay. Looks like we have a lot of axles here, and one Helga, which is me. Yes. I don't, know, I don't know why there's so many axles. I think it's just the standard avatar, and if people don't change it, then it just sticks with that one. So obviously I need to support Helga because she is awesome. I actually really want to give a props to this game for giving kind of a, a grotesque woman. I'm not saying she's like really grotesque, but I'm getting sick of like the Tomb Raiders and uh, all these beautiful women in gaming and like... Um, especially in, like, RPGs and fantasy games when they have, like, no armor on. Like, that is not realistic. Let, let's get a real woman in this. Obviously, she's a bit overweight, but, um, it's just nice to see something different than the typical, uh, sexy female that games, uh, seem to portray so much these days. Uh, was that really three on two? I hope people join re relatively quickly. This is a populated game, so it does uh, put people into games that are already made. So we should be fine. As you can see, I got my loadout here. I'm going to hit fight, and we are going to... We, we start out in this mode, which is like a... I don't know. I don't even know what it's called, but it's crazy, and you need to run out of the... get the hell out of the way, kill people. Um, okay, I am dead. And as you can see... Oh, wow. She's kind of... Yeah, she's cut in half. Um, that's a very cool aspect of this game. Uh, the... 
the damage in this game is actually realistic. She'll, you'll have holes in your body and everything. And it's just so cool. Hopefully we can start showcasing that more in a little bit here. I'm going to have very bad aim because I am lagging a little bit. But um, I'm using my railgun, which is very good for long range as well as short range. That's why I like this this weapon so much. It's um, very useful on pretty much every situation. But it's going crazy right now. And oh, there's a guy behind me with a railgun as well. Hopefully I can get him down. Oh yeah, he's freaking out. I got him. What the hell? Where'd this guy go? Oh, man. And, um, I'm dead again. As you can see, there's a hole in my arm for being hit. I love that. That's probably my favorite aspect of this game, is just the damage. And actually, when you get healed, I, I, I want to show it to you later, but, um, I'm just yapping right now as I play. Um, I don't even know what the hole... Oh, crap. Did I really just... Wow. Okay. Sorry. That was my bad. Now playing Death Snatch. Find an enemy... So this... This is one of the modes, I guess. This is just the typical TDM mode from what I can tell. I've only played like four or five games, so I don't know all the modes, but there's also a blue right mode, I think it's called, where you have to collect like gems, and there's one player on each team that has to collect gems, and the other, uh, the rest of the team controls, or um, kills the enemy blue right collector, and oh man, these guys are just following me. That did, that did not go well. Wolf Lord His. He's kicking my ass right now. Death Snatch, find an enemy, kill an enemy. Oh, is the plutonium actually in this game? I, I I didn't get a chance to read it fully. Oh, come on, there we go. I got that kill. Um, he, he, we didn't have too much health. What is this on him? Oh. Oh, okay, so th this is actually a new mode. So I, I have to confirm my kills. Interesting. So there's actually a lot of modes in this. This guy's AFK. I just got him down. I gotta go get that. Oh, God. I almost fell down again. I, I do not know this map. I've never played it, and there's lots of holes, which is scary. Oh, crap. I was denied. So, this is the uh, typical denial. Oh, man. I am on fire. What is he shooting at me to make me on fire? That is so cool. Oh, my God. I This, this guy's really good. Uh, I'm probably in a noob queue right now, but this Warlord guy seems to be knowing what he's doing. Uh, so he's going to kick my ass probably most of the time. But I'm actually using a modded railgun. And I put a minigun uh, barrel on it. So it actually takes time to warm up. I don't know if it was the best idea. But it boosts the damage of it so much. As you can see it took a while for me to, to warm up there. That's um, the downfall of this current gun. Not a huge issue though. Oh this is the warlord guy. And I, oh my god I can't aim right now. There we go I got him. Oh well I assisted him. Uh, as long as we get this guy down, I think we should be alright. I don't know how he is putting me on fire, though. There is different types of bullets. So I'm assuming he's, he's got, like, a really cool fire bullet going on that does damage over time. Uh, if, but if we keep working together, we should be able to do fine. I think we are down a bit. And if you if you could see this damage right now, this is really I really wanted to showcase. I have a hole through my fucking uh, torso right now. Uh, you can't really see it now, but I'm sure you've seen it. And, uh... That is just such a cool um, damage system. I just really like to actually see where I got hit. It actually gives it gives you a good analyzation as well as how damaged you are. There, there is the typical heartbeat going on as well. But just seeing a hole in you, and if you hit these health kits, it will actually mend that hole. And hopefully I can showcase that later. But uh, right now I'm just going to focus on winning this game. I should be starting to use this gun more often, which is my... Assault rifle, but it's not very good long range, and a lot of the times I find I'm fighting pretty long range. It's pretty easy to see characters in this game, so a lot of the fights have to do with, like, distance like this. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to pick up this. Bounty confirmed, so I get plus 20. Oh, man, this guy with his fire thing. All right. Oh, man. Oh, where is he? Where is he? He keeps jumping. There we go. I got him. I actually beat him legit with, like, half health, and that felt really good. Uh, I really like this railgun, but I am burnt to a crisp. I don't know if you saw that, but I, my, my, my character model was, like, burnt to a, a literal crisp during that death sequence. Alright, so we are going to go over here. I don't see anyone on the map. Actually, I do see, if you look at the top right there, there, there is a, a, a typical radar system. Where this guy's almost dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh god, I, I should have been able to hit him there. That 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 was error on my part. I'm just gonna try and snipe a few guys here. It would be nice to get like a a scope on this thing because it is it is pretty hard to aim from a long range, especially with a railgun. Uh, but it is nice. I really really enjoy the railgun in this game, 
and I'm probably going to stick with this. Uh, I, you saw in the tech tree, you ha you le level up uh, attributes on your gun as you go, so you really have to, I'm assuming, stick with one gun because it takes so long to just le level up a gun that it would would only be smart. I, I keep forgetting. I gotta actually grab his thing, but I think my teammate got it. Oh my god! Look at the holes. I, I want to go see if I can show you the mending process. I gotta find a health kit here, and then you can see that it will actually repair the holes in my chest right now. I'm gonna try and stay away from all this fighting. I really don't know this map. There's a, there's a health kit right there. So if we go here, it actually will like watch if you can see it. It actually like mends the holes, and I'm good now. That is so cool to me. I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm a pretty simple person, and crap like that really interests me. I'm so awful at aiming right now. I'm so sorry. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing as good as I should be. Oh, there we go. He was waiting for me. This guy knows what he's doing. Oh, he's throw, he just threw a nade. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm down. Uh, my leg is uh, gone, and I'm pouring out blood. Good game. Well done. Uh, poo poo canoe. What, what did that say? I'm not, I'm not listening. I Oh, God, I'm doing bad. Kills and... I'm not doing awful, but it's... It's not like me to do this bad. I, I'm actually kind of good at FPSs. I'm not saying I'm great, but I'm, I'm, I would say I'm above average. I don't really showcase that on my channel. I'm pretty much a noob on my channel, so I'm actually conforming to, what is that? Gray field gravity generator, next exit. Oh, wow. Look at this. That is cool. Two, two captures remaining. Okay. So, I don't know what it refers to by captures. I know in the other game mode, Captures are the blue right things, but in this mode, I don't really know what a capture is. So I guess we'll just chill and wait for... There we go. Captain Clueless, and he is clueless to me shooting him right now. Haha. Uh -huh. uh, assisted suicide. So he, he, I think he fell off the map. Poor poor fella. Oh god, I almost fell off the map too. This guy's using a rocket launcher. Look at this guy. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, I got him. I got Warlord. We, we win! Uh, please tell me I didn't come in last. God damn it. I, I, I don't know, I just hate coming in last on teams. Um, as you can see, this is the kind of winning screen. You look at me in the back there, I'm pretty much the poorest on my team, so... I don't I don't know how to dance. How, how do you guys dance? That is so cool. Mo most valuable player, Andre Bananas. Great job. Winning weapon. So it does sh showcase the winning weapon, um, and it will tell the name of your weapon. So if you want to put a unique name, it's typical to TF2, go ahead and do that. And then you get the typical XP at the end of the game. I actually got 2,000 blutes for leveling up, um, and I got performance bonus of uh, 11 blutes, and uh, XP earned 1,500, victory bonus 50. So that that's uh, a good example of how much blutes you get per game. Uh, obviously, I leveled up and got an extra 2,000, but yes, I'm going to cancel this, and I'm going to end this video now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's actually a really cool game. Uh, what am I missing? I'm, you can get it on Steam. It's totally free. The link will be down below if you don't want to search through it, for it through Steam. Obviously, just click the link and download it. Go check it out for yourself. Very cool game. Um, and it's actually very well optimized as, optimized as well. So if you got a lower-end system and you can't play the current-gen games, this is a very good one to try out. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.